Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. In this tutorial, let us learn about how to perform cost loading in Primavera P6. Cost loading is schedule represents your entire budget for the project including all the direct, indirect costs, incomes or expenses. Generally, BOQs will be used to distribute the total budget amount across all the activities in your project in P6. So let us now learn in detail how to do the cost loading of a schedule in Primavera P6. This is the sample schedule I am considering now. Make sure that the duration type of activities is fixed duration and units. First step is to go to resources tab and create resources. Select enterprise and click on resources from this menu. You will be able to see the resources now. Click add button and create a labor resource and name it as manas. I am creating this only for the purpose of cost loading. Okay. In the details section, go to units and prices and enter the unit price as 10 euros per hour. Now we need to assign this resource to each of the activity in our project. Let me assign this to this particular activity first. Insert budgeted manner for this activity and observe that the budgeted cost is being calculated by multiplying the unit price on the units. I am giving here the budgeted units as 2000. So my total budget will be 20,000 euros. Original lag can be used to shift the cost of the distribution for the activity. It can be either positive or negative. Once you are done with this exercise with all the activities, you can start tracking the schedule and update it accordingly. In this example, I am using this only for the single activity so as to explain it. Now let us see the activity usage spreadsheet. Go to view, click on the show on top, select the activity usage spreadsheet. You can customize the spreadsheet as per your wish. Select the budgeted labor cost. Budgeted labor cost. You can see the distribution of the cost like this. So in the details section, if you insert the original lag, you can notice that the distribution moves accordingly in the timeline. If you want to see the histogram view of this cost, you need to go to view, click on show on bottom, click on activity usage profile. You will get the histogram of this data like this. It's awesome, right? So just you need to replicate this exercise for all of those activities in your project. That's it friends. So friends, this is all about how to perform cost loading in Primavera P6. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a like, share and comment. For further more interesting videos, please do subscribe DB Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.